I watched a video on <clears throat> using coffee grounds as a texture powder for miniature bases. Now, coffee is something I drink a lot of. So I thought, hey, I could do this. It looked easy enough. So this is my little experiment for today. Specifically, this YouTube video. Well, I started with coffee from this morning's coffee. And uh, I put it on this here baking sheet for, I think it was 210 degrees, our measure. And uh, initially I did it, at, uh, I put it on a timer for 20 minutes. It still seemed kind of clumpy at 20. So I just uh, set the timer again for 20 minutes. But about 15 minutes in, I look over and... Uh, all right, I check it again, and looks like this stuff has no more moisture in it. And um, it's like what it looks like, a inert, um, hopefully somewhat antimicrobial uh, inert powder with some kind of chunkiness to it that I think might make an excellent uh, miniature base texture. Anyway, we're going to try it. Okay, so I baked this at, uh, I think it was 240 for 20 minutes. And then I, uh, just to be absolutely positive, I went and did it again. So this is uh, today's and yesterday's coffee grounds. Um, and then, then I microwaved it for an additional five minutes. So I think this is fairly inert, dry material. The YouTube that I saw said take a... Um, an equal amount of cheap black paint, and I don't think you can do better than Apple Barrel in that regard, and this powder, and mix them together. So, roughly equal. <clears throat> they also said, don't, um, don't save this as a mixed up goop. Um, like, don't store it mixed. Use what you'd use. And then, um, um, and then discard what you don't. So, I'm just going to keep the powder. So, here we go. I'm going to try and mix it together. And I will come back when we're done with that. I'm going to apply it to a catapult. And we'll see how it goes. So, I think this is, uh, about as close to being done as it's going to get. Um, I probably have way too much uh, powder in here, but I don't think I do. I mean, I, I think they were roughly equal amounts. And what we get is kind of this uh, grainy black um, paint mixture. And I'm going to apply that to <clears throat> this... Uh, P, uh, uh, light cantaloupe pulp base. It's uh, re obviously it's a Reaper's miniature, and uh, I am going to apply it around the base here using an old crunchy brush that is kind of heading for the discard bin, and we're going to see what we shall see. I will uh, come back once I get the whole thing done. All right. Okay. Um, observations. This is messy as hell. It's not as easy as it was in the YouTube that I saw. And I didn't get complete coverage. And I am not bothering to remix more because it's drying real fast as I'm using it. Um, we'll see how it is. I'm going to give it a an overnight um, to dry up like it does in the in the video. And then we'll re we'll see how it looks in the morning. <clears throat> So that's my, uh, the next morning. Okay. It's the next day. And this is my experiment with coffee ground texture paint. Uh, my initial impressions are it certainly has tightened up. Um, like it's, it's got a nice hard shell on there. 
Um, though I admit, like, the, uh, it uh, was not very spreadable. It was very flaky. So that might be because of the type of coffee ground, grind level it is. See, look how bare that is. Um, so, like, more powdery coffee might be the answer to this. I will try that at some point. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do now is give it a, like, a once-over with a light brown. Um, well, kind of a mid-range brown. Then, um, then some tan highlights, dry brushing. And maybe I'll add a little, uh, a jot here and there of, um, like a, an ink for shadow, shadows, and we'll see how it looks after that. I don't paint the rim of the base like a lighter brown. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like film myself painting because I need two hits. <coughs> Oops. Anyway. Sorry about the high note on the end of that last clip. I had to sneeze and I was uh, trying to hold it back and didn't work out. Um, okay. This is after doing a kind of medium brown bottom coat and uh, doing tan highlights with a dry brush and a little bit of inky um, in the crevices to, uh, to give it some shading. Shockingly, this looks great. <laughs> okay, like, uh, um, I've changed, I went to bed last night, like, I put this out to just dry overnight, because I think that's a critical process. But, um, like, I didn't think much of it. I thought, oh, this is going to be crap in the morning, but it's not. It actually works really well. The black paint dried, um, and fixed the, uh, the coffee ground powder to the base really nicely. It was still, I think my problem that I was bitching about last night was the mixture of grounds to paint was too much on the ground side and probably needed to be a little wetter. Uh, so, I'll, you know, case in point for next time, I'd also opt for like a, a more powdery blend, like an espresso instead of like just regular, in this case, it's just folders out of the can, so... But still, Folgers out of the can, that, that ain't half bad, man. Um, so, yeah, I uh, I tried this thing I saw on a YouTube. Uh, and it turns out it works real well. And now I'm probably going to get the uh, stink eye from my wife as I end up uh, um, uh, baking coffee powder from now on. But I'll probably try, uh, I've, got, I've got some Italian roast that's really lightly ground into more of a powdery thing for espresso. I'm probably going to try that next, but right now I'm pretty satisfied with it. And I think this was a cool project and I'm probably going to start doing it for other things. I, I wouldn't advocate it for like, um, really small bases that have figures on it already. Like I'm painting up these dwarves. I know they don't look like much now, but I'm kind of making them like foresty kind of snipers. Uh, but look at the base, man. I don't think that's going to I think I don't think that is big enough to uh, to benefit from basing texture. So I probably just keep painting them. I think brown or green, and then flock them with uh, with grass flock instead of this stuff. But regardless, I like this. I like this method a lot, and I certainly drink enough enough, enough coffee that it's a great way of recycling something that I use in abundance anyway. So that's, that's my little project for the day, and I am out. Thank you for watching. And a big thank you and shout out to Midwinter Minis who provided the inspiration for this little experiment. Um, I am posting the link to his channel, which I strongly advocate uh, visiting because there it is uh, just a treasure trove of how to build useful, free or cheap terrain out of discarded junk, which is like a favorite subject of mine. Anyway, thanks again. Visit his channel and hopefully I'll